Hello, my name is Dr. George Machaki and welcome to Introduction to Business offered by the College of Lake County. This is an online class, so you're, uh, you're taking Business 121 in the 800 series. I have a full orientation online, about an hour. This is a quick and uh, a shorter version, 10-15 minutes, just so you know how to get in and move around within uh, Blackboard. So you're gonna go into Blackboard. It's recommended you either use uh, Firefox or Chrome, which uh, works well within Blackboard. It depends on your settings. So uh, uh, Blackboard recommends Firefox uh, uh, as your browser. So you're gonna find your class. Okay, uh, okay, so you're gonna come in here and you're gonna find your class. Usually it's an online class, it's 800 series. I'm gonna click on this. And okay. All right. So now, when I have this, you know you're in the right class. Same thing when you're going to do the homework assignment. You'll see my smiley face on here. Yeah. So if you run into me on campus, say, "Hey, Dr. George, I'm in your online class." Okay. So let's go for it. So um, uh, yeah, uh, you are required to log in on different days within the week, similar to how you'd be checking on your email, or if you're working in a business, you have uh, two components. You have a virtual office that's the internet e-commerce and then you have a physical office or brick and mortar office you have you, you just don't come there once a week you go there every day and you uh, uh, you operate within both uh, uh, different platforms so that's a requirement you, uh, 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 one thing I wanted to make clear right up front is part of your grade since you're taking it online and to make it more like a, a virtual community that you uh, interact with other individuals I have a graded discussion so it means every week you are required to respond to my posting and then later on you re uh, reply to uh, uh, nine other students within the class. I think this class I have like about 30 students, 25 students, uh, give or take. So you reply to other students uh, within the class as to help not only in your written communication, but help you in your dialogue in the virtual office, how to communicate uh, to uh, different individuals. Okay, so uh, you'll have uh, always the announcements, and this is, uh, I haven't updated all the announcements, but you'll have your announcements when you first come in. Uh, a little bit about the instructor, so you can click on here, it tells me a little bit about me. Uh, when I'm gonna go in here, when I look at the orientation uh, button, remember I'm on Blackboard now in my class, this is the full 60 minutes, uh, one hour, full online orientation. There is no in-class orientation. This is a fully online class, so your orientation is online your exams are online, your communication is online, your uh, uh, interaction is online, everything is done on this virtual platform. Okay, I know some instructors may have you come in for the final exam. Uh, I am a proponent if this is uh, an online class, everything is online. Okay, so uh, up front. So you can come in here, and, and so in this one here, it has this. It has a link uh, uh, to my orienta uh, uh, link for orientation. It's the same link. It's in, in case you can't look at the YouTube, this is a direct link that Camtasia Relay, the college, utilizes for me to do these recordings uh, and, and be able to post it as a separate link on, on that. But I know some students are having some problems with the links, so I also post the same information on YouTube. Okay, uh, this next one here on the orientation, what you're looking at, how to update your profile. What I want you to do, you see where you, when you come in here, you always see my picture up here in your profile. This is important. When I'm communicating in the discussion boards, otherwise you, it's hard to follow the threads of other students. Like in a classroom, if I say something, I know that's George. I may not know his or her name, but I can see the individual who's doing the talking. Now, we're in a virtual reality, in a virtual classroom. So we have to bring in that that connection, that uh, 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 classroom environment, that interaction, so you'll update your profile. This basically is a link. Again, you'll click on the link, and I'll just show you, and you'll, you'll come in like this, and sometimes if the link doesn't work, because I'll have a lot of links in here, sometimes it may not work because through Blackboard has its own uh, uh, parameters, and then your own web browser, uh, browser, depending how you set it up, has its own uh, uh, parameters. So what I would recommend is you just cut and copy this, paste and put into your browser to view it and I think this one's about like 10 minutes so you come in here and I go step to step again you know my smiley face you click on this and you can make this remember when I click on this look hello my name is Dr. George you can make this you can make you can make this I'll just turn my down you can make this bigger or smaller does that kind of make sense so I'm just going to kind of escape from that all right and stop me but remember this will explain how do I update my student profile 
in this class it's a requirement. So I have a face, this is strictly online, asked to uh, build that community of individuals, okay? So we'll take care of that, I'll turn that off. Okay, so that's part of it. I'm gonna go back in here, uh, how do I, uh, I'll go back in here. All right, <clears throat> so you have the full thing, you have my, uh, uh, this is a separate link. This is how I'll update your profile. This next one is when you're submitting any kind of homework within <coughs> Blackboard to me. Some assignments are done through a software, Connect and Learn Smart, that's required with this course. Other will be linked that uh, I'll create, and you'll have to send me your assignment. Your final paper that you'll be doing for this course will be submitted to me through Blackboard. This shows you step-by-step -step how to do it. If it doesn't make sense here, Blackboard also has, when you go into Blackboard and your Blackboard before you log in, and they'll have tutorial help that will show you step by step also maybe a little bit clearer maybe a little bit uh, or maybe more confusing uh, it's up to you you know, you know I mean so you have different resources here now so you're gonna find out something about the instructor so you got the instructor you're gonna find something about me here's my little bio you could read it everything you want and we went through the orientation here's the syllabus when I look at the syllabus you'll be able to print it out remember the syllabus you'll check it out and if you print out the syllabus uh, uh, right that's open with the word I, I think the syllabus that you will have will basically be in a PDF file, so open up right away, okay? And I do that because some people may not have Microsoft Word. Now, I want to make this very clear. For you to submit your homework and everything else, you have to utilize Microsoft Word document, okay? And this way, when you submit it in there, when I say how you submit your homework, I have that whole uh, 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 orientation, uh, I have that whole uh, uh, link there explaining that. I could grade it. I could add my comments to it, and I could send it back to you. So it has to be Microsoft Word. You may say, Dr. George, I got a Mac. I don't have Microsoft Word, or I can't afford the program. Lucky you. You're at the College of Lake County. If you go into your student portal, as you do your uh, Outlook, you also could download the uh, Microsoft Office 2010, if I'm mistaken, or 2013. Free as a student, you uh, down because uh, the, the whole program is up in the cloud, and you could do all your work and submit it. If you have a Macintosh or a Mac or a, a, an Apple computer, you also could basically utilize uh, that because they have a program. Microsoft Word has it uh, for a Mac version. Remember, I'm in business. Business. IBM rules, like it or not, you could be a Mac user, but you have to use Microsoft Office because that's just a, uh, uh, for lack of a better word, just a software that's accepted within the business realm. So you could download it. Some of you will do your homework and everything else in Google Docs, which is all right, and then you have to submit it. So when you're in Google Docs, when you download it, you'll you you click it on Save As, and when you save as, you save it as as a Microsoft Word document. That's the only way I'll accept any kind of a homework assignment that is uh, uh, to be turned in to me in this class. Okay, I'm gonna go a little bit to my other orientation. The full one goes a little bit more into detail. Okay, so read the, uh, my syllabus. It tells you everything about it. You know about the forums, the academic. The thing I want you to remember: this is the book that you're gonna be using. I got a copy of here. It comes in with the uh, uh, with this uh, with the uh, Connect Soft uh, uh, the soft uh, software is required. It's an integrated software to make not only my face-to-face uh, -face class more integ uh, integrated, also my uh, definitely for my online class to be integrated. So if you got the book from somebody else, you know loosely book everything else, you need the software. Uh, you need to connect uh, uh, passcode. And uh, here's your operation. The College of Lake County did a, a, had a good negotiating team because you could get the e-book, uh, I mean the loose leaf book and everything else at the College of Lake County bookstore. Only place you could get this is a customized book for this course for uh, $83. You get the book, you get the uh, integrated software, you cannot beat that price. You can't beat it, okay? So, uh, and if you say, I'm not gonna spend $83, I'm gonna, there's no way you could, uh, and, uh, let me just go on a little bit uh, when you look at it. And this is the most current one. Go back in here, let me just close that. Okay, uh, uh, okay. All right, let me just make this, uh, let me just view this. Remember, I'm live, all my things are live. Uh, so I got the page with. So if I'm looking at here, you have everything else. Read it on your own. Here's your uh, uh, last days to withdraw and uh, 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 and get some money back if you don't like the, the way this course is going. Or here's the last day you could w withdraw without uh, uh, my consent. 
okay and here's the link so you go in here here's the here's the breakdown for this course learn smart is going to be 26 percent of your uh, grade now i'm looking at points i put points in here but i'm looking more at the percentage the points because it varies depending on the interaction of the class depending on the time what happens so i give myself some flexibility but basically you'll learn smart that's an integrated software that comes with this book you get the passcode with this book. You'll get a loose leaf version. You know, talk about with the passcode, don't throw it in, and I'll show you how to log in uh, real quickly. Okay, so your online, okay, so that's 26% of your grade. Your online participation is worth 29%, so you have to do your forms, you have to communicate just like you would come to the classroom, only you had the flexibility. You could do it at one o'clock in the morning, you could do it at two o'clock uh, in the morning, you could do it uh, uh, at lunchtime, you could do it off your smartphone. So there's, that's why people enjoy the online. It gives your flexibility similar to what businesses are doing where they're doing training in the corporate world a lot of training is all done uh, uh, for lack of better words on the computer in between your customers uh, uh, connections or uh, communication okay now you're gonna have some homework give or, uh, give or take 45 uh, points or about 40 four percent of your total grade you will be writing a formal paper don't worry as we're doing each chapter you'll be uh, in a couple of weeks you'll come up with a topic a new business venture or a new uh, uh, program or a new uh, uh, idea something you know you're already a business but you want to do a uh, open up a new market or you have a new product and you'll be developing in this it'd be called the feasibility before a business actually creates or goes out into the market it does a feasibility study does it make sense can i be sustainable how much is going to cost me what are the requirements so that's going to be the your whole project this course the way i teach this course is similar to how you'd be exposed to at a four-year university uh, or you're taking an online class or exposed to in a business what do i need to do what are the steps before i actually go and spend money and uh, commit time and resources into this venture or into this new market okay so that's worth uh, 150 points that's firm that's 14 percent of your grade and you'll be building this up uh, within the forums helping each other out going forward uh, you will do a quick PowerPoint presentation uh, in, in my course my face-to-face -face course they do a live recording here you just can do a quick PowerPoint anytime you do any kind of a uh, paper or anything else in business you have to do it uh, uh, here's the written documentation but you have to sell it by coming out and presenting it to your team member or to your investors or to your customer base so you're just going to have the bullets the bullet the powerpoint is real easy that gives you extra points i want you to do well in this course okay so it's 50 points and it's worth another four percent you're going to have three exams this is the same thing i do to the face-to-face -face class remember you're doing everything as a face-to-face -face class only you're in a virtual classroom and the three exams are worth 50 points each and uh, they're marked in the syllabus look at it so afterwards and the exams are going to be on blackboard i'll give you more than enough time to do the exams on blackboard and this way you could see how you're doing you have a final exam a cumulative final 100 points that's to let me know after you've done all this whole course what do you know that's required you cannot pass this class unless you take the final exam uh, you'll get an f okay and that's worth nine percent of the class it's like everything else i took all my classes i did all my homework i did everything else to learn a car i finally have to go into that car and uh, uh, pass the test okay and here's the test now here's how it's going to be uh, looking the syllabus is just a guy so you know what chapters we're on so it tells you a little bit what you remember it starts on monday and ends on friday the only thing uh, and, uh, I give you an extension is on your Learn Smart. And your Learn Smart here says uh, Connect Learn Smart. Your Learn Smart I'll give you to Saturday midnight. I give you that little uh, lead time. Because after Sunday, I want you to start reading and getting ready for your Monday class that you have to do your first posting into the form. Okay, so look at this and you go forward. And you know, here's when your exams, so those are going to be uh, the exam dates are always going to be firm. They're going to be in the, uh, that time so you could do the exam. And uh, the way I work at the exam, I'll open it up for a couple days so you could do the exam. Uh, I think from, uh, uh, I'll open up like on a Wednesday and you'll have the Friday. It doesn't mean that you have three days to do the exam. What it means is you have three days to select the time frame that you are ready to take the exam. Okay? So read this and it gives you all your information. It has everything else you need on here. All right. So let me just close this off and you'll find your syllabus on here. Okay, so now I'm going to go back into, uh, uh, go back in here. Let me just close this off a little slow here. Okay, so now 
you have that, you have the announcements, you know a little bit about myself, you know about what to do with the orientation, everything you need is broken down, or you could look at the main orientation, and that's 60 minutes, and it covers everything. You don't have to have them in, in, in um, what do you call it, in, in smaller sections. I know some individuals need in smaller sections, depending on how much information you could take at one time. Okay, now, what you have to look is your uh, weekly homework, uh, 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 weekly uh, uh, homework assignments okay so you're the, the two areas you have to always look at is weekly homework assignment my learn smart and uh, discussion board what I will do now I'm gonna go into the student mode so I'm gonna pretend I'm a student to look at this the same way you do because when I go into the instructors well not, not that you're gonna see anymore I have a lot of things that uh, I got turned off that may make it confusing so now here I am I'm George Machaki as a student Okay, so when I come in here, I'm gonna go, go you know, I've, I found out this, I did this, and I went into my homework. So now I'm gonna look at my homework. What's required for this week? If you notice, I've, I've got all the weeks on here, so you have a general idea. This kind of follows in line with your syllabi. But if you click on week seven, there's nothing there, because we're not at week seven yet, remember? I'm only gonna open up the week that you have to do the homework on and you'll have every information you have my lectures you have everything else you you need there after week one is done and you're going to go into week two week one is turned off so if you need anything out of week one if you have to you did any uh, writing or anything else save it in your own file because once week one is turned off unless you've made some comments or anything else you could look at it but you won't see everything that's uh, in week one that's done this last week's work here's your next week's work you have to do it I just left this open so you can kind of know when the exams are everything else so let's see what we have for week one so you're gonna click on week one and voila you have your first forum now this first form for this week I know it's gonna take some students a little time to get used to the online class some of you have already had online classes with myself or other instructors and similar to a regular face-to-face -face class every instructor you have a certain commonality but each instructor has his or her preferences how they set up the classroom or how they present the material so uh, remember if you've taken an online class you've already had that now you just have to see what does dr george want but you already know how to move within blackboard and within the different uh, functionality so you're going to do your first form now here's how the forms work i'm going to click on the forms and i can i'm not going to do this uh, you're going to click on the forms okay you're just going to click on the link okay and then you're going to create a, a thread and you're going to answer my question remember when you went back there it said uh, uh tell me something about yourself or whatever so when you create a thread i'm going to create a thread and this question was just an open forum and please introduce yourself so here's what i have to add respond to these questions when i'm creating a thread uh, uh uh where do you live anything remember i just want a little so as a community as a classroom similar to what i would do as an icebreaker within a face-to-face -face class you get to know other students within your class what similarities you have you're beginning to build your network you're beginning to uh, build relationships bridges to different people that you might have not met that's the whole beauty of business you meet people that you've never known before some people you like some people you may not like but as long as you got a master visa card i love them all because they're going to buy my product okay so you're going to come in here and in this subject area let's look at this i, I could go hi i i am george I uh, uh, grew, uh, grew up in Chicago, okay? And then put whatever you want. Yeah, you remember, and just write something on here. And then basically what you'll do, you'll submit it. And that's it, okay? So you responded to me, everything, hi, I'm George. And now I'm another student, I'm gonna click on here and I'm gonna say, oh, this is George, uh, hi, I'm in Chicago. And you'll have some comments. Now I'm gonna to reply to that, to George. You know, I can't reply to myself, uh, right? But I'm gonna to reply to George. Hey George, I grew up in Chicago also. I'm Polish, I was born in Germany also. Or whatever you want to say, because you know, that's a little bit about myself. Uh, you know, I went to this high school, I, went, uh, I grew up around Armitage and Damon. Whatever information you want, it's just to make a connection. See, that somebody else has some similarity remember in business even as a manager in business my customers i try to group them find what uh, uh, similarities they have so i could communicate to them so i understand them okay so you have that right now uh you don't see my face in here because i'm in a preview i'm not in the student i don't have an account as a student but normally i would see my face in here 
the same face that you would have in here uh, 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 with your profile. There you would see my face. If I was a student, you'd see that. So now I know, this is what George looks like. And I'll answer some questions to him. You're required to respond to my post by Monday midnight. This one here, you could respond and you could see how many other people posted. Going forward, week two, when you had the forum, you will not see any other person's posting until you do your first posting. Then everything else will be open. The rationale is when you reply in the forum to my post first, you will answer questions. I'm uh, looking at least for a couple paragraphs to respond to my questions. After you respond to my question and you post it, then you'll see all the other students posting. There you'll read their postings. I'm looking at three different replies at three different uh, at different times of the week. Not all on one day. I'm going to get them all over it. That's not how you communicate. That's not how you build a relationship. That's not how you learn about customers. You will reply to my post. You'll see the other post, and then you reply to nine other students within the week. Come on, most of you are on FaceTime. Phew, you're on uh, Twitter. You're replying constantly to other people. You now reply to other students. So whatever they post, you say, yeah, I agree with that. Or no, I don't agree with that. Try to start using business concepts and terms. Now, what I'm looking for, I'm looking at least for a paragraph or more when you're replying to post. I don't want to hear, yep, I agree with you. What kind of comment is that? You're not building anything. You will not get any points for that. Remember, the forms are worth 20 points. That's like you come into the classroom and having a discussion. Don't worry, you got spell check, everything else, and I have a whole section on forms in my uh, uh, full uh, overall, uh, full uh, 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 orientation lecture. All right, so I'm done with this, and we'll go out here. So now I'm going to come out here for them one week. I'm going to the beginning, and I'm going to go back. Let's see, guys, see a discussion board. Okay, I want to go back into my weekly assignment. Okay, I'm in week one. Complete that. Remember, you could do your posting and everything else with your smartphone, so it gives you everything else. So now you've done your form. The next thing you have to do, you have to learn smart assignment. With this came a, 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 a passcode. How do I log into my Learn Smart? You log into your Learn Smart through Blackboard. Through clicking on this first assignment, it's going to come in here. Registration for this uh, section is uh, now closed. Please see your structure. Uh, what did I do? Oh, because I'm, uh, I'm, uh, I'm in a student mode. But when you come in here, you'd come in here, you'd put in your email and you put in your passcode or sign in or register. You'd register for this class for the first time. This is your link. This is where you're going to find out. You're going to click on the register. As you register, let me just go in here. It may not do this because I'm in, a, uh, in a, a, a student preview mode as an instructor. You click in here, and that's when you put your password. Now what happens is the software is linked with Blackboard. So any work you do in uh, doing the, uh, 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 the Learn Smart software will basically will put the grade right into Blackboard for you. Okay, and once you did this with first sign in, you're done with it. It's already uh, if you use uh, McGraw Hill's uh, uh, Connect uh, 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 app, you could log in through that way. Everything else, because you're already registered, and they'll see either my classes or other classes that McGraw uh, 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 other instructors that are using McGraw Hill uh, 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 publisher's software. You'll be you'll see all of them. You could do your homework and everything else. It's the flexibility. Come on, this is the virtual office, okay? So I'm going to get out of here. Remember, I'm in a preview mode, so I can't do a, a lot of this stuff. Okay, let me just close this off here. I think I just closed this off. Hang on a second. All right, so we're back here. Okay, so, so you have everything. So you already know what to do. Weekly assignments, right? I got kicked out. So you, you go in week one. <clears throat> You've done this. You've done the form. You've done your homework. Learn smart homework. Always do by. This is the only uh, homework that's due by Saturday, uh, uh, midnight. Uh, here's uh, a, a, a quick overview. Now, when I look at this one, TNC Week One uh, overview. I've done this. This one was uh, done back. I think. Uh, uh, last year, but it's similar for the first week. So you can look at that. Tells you a quick overview of what's required. You have my short. You have lectures. Remember, before you do any type of the homework, you have all my lectures in here. You can look at my lecture for Chapter 1 or Chapter 2, whatever is required on there. You also could go in here, Dr. George's lectures, 
remember? What I've basically done is when you're doing the weekly assignment, I made everything in one spot. For those who aren't familiar utilizing Blackboard, it's a one-stop shopping. But for those of you who are experts who have taken other Blackboard or are familiar with Blackboard, either at the College of Lake County or a lot of other universities use Blackboard as a course management system, you know you could get into it. Uh, instead of going to uh, uh, my weekly assignment, you could do it by the different tabs I submitted for you. Okay, So these have all my lectures in here. Look at them before you do the Connect homework. They're usually about an hour long, just like you'd be lecturing inside a classroom, but it makes it very easy for you, okay? So now the other thing on the homework, let's go back on our weekly uh, homework. We're in week one, remember? And I got the dates. Okay, now I'm back into my uh, uh, into my uh, into the instructor mode. Uh, so you go in here. You got your short lectures. You have your uh, Blackboard exam. Your exams are going to be in Blackboard. They're not going to be in the Learn Smart software. So if you've never taken a Blackboard exam, what I'll do for the first week, I'll do a mini exam in Blackboard. First chapter, uh, real quick questions, uh, maybe five questions. That uh, uh, quiz is extra points. So if you get five out of five, you'll get five extra points. It'll be five out of zero, five out of one. So you get four extra points. <clears throat> I just want to make sure that you understand Blackboard. You know how to do your first quiz before you do your first exam. That's worth, uh, I think, 50 points and it has like 30 questions or something in there. All right. Similar to what you have in a face-to-face -face class. Everything you're doing here is everything else that I do when I teach a face-to-face -face class, only it's in a virtual classroom. Okay? So you have that. You have your PowerPoints in here. You have the Learn Smart registration. I think you have everything else. What I want to bring out, I only have a few more minutes. I want to keep this underneath a, a, a half an hour. You have your Learn Smart. Now, what I've done, you learn smart. Remember here, you saw you learn smart here, the connection for week one. I have populated all your learn smart homework assignments for the whole semester. So if you have some time and you say, hey, next week I got real busy work at work, I want to catch up on my learn smart. You click in here and you can do your learn smart. What you have to look at is when are the due dates. This one's the due January 28th. That's the last date you complete it and it turns off. You lose those points. No makeup points because I have this in here. The part of this course is you have to learn to meet the goals and meet the deadlines that are required. Remember, I'm a contractor for the College of Lake County. I'm an adjunct. I'm a contractor. Same requirements as a full-time, only I'm a contractor. And, you know, if you look at, oh, my God, I got a contractor. If you look at the, uh, all the universities, 70% of your instructors are contractors. That's to keep the cost down. It's outsourcing. In turn, also, you get the same quality instruction as with a full-time. If anything else, you may get a better perspective because I am in the business field I am so what I'm teaching is not only the academic section but I'm also teaching you uh, 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 practicality okay a uh, uh, real life experience so all your homework you could do them anytime you could you could complete all of them you, if you know this information and they're set for each homework assignment set for about 25 minutes you keep on doing it because it doesn't ask any more questions 25 minutes, it means you read the book, you know the question. If you keep on saying, I don't understand this, or I don't understand this, or I'm not sure about this, what happens? It keeps on re-asking the question. Some students may be on one chapter for an hour until they get it right. The whole thing is for you to understand the concept, at least have a familiar... Uh, familiarization of what the terms and con uh, concepts mean. And the terms are vocabulary. So I can incorporate them in my form. So I can incorporate them in my business plan. So I can start using that new vocabulary in business. So they say, oh, man, this person knows something about business. He knows what uh, return on investment is. He knows what the four P's of marketing is. He knows what uh, 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 job performance or job analysis are. Okay, so do, do you see what I mean? So you, you're you learning. And then when you do the paper, when you look on here, you've got your discussion, my lectures. Uh, when you do the paper, you'll be able to, for lack of better words, you'll be able to uh, 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 take conceptual ideals and new learnings and actually incorporate them into a final paper and a presentation. Now, I also provide, you know, you got your PowerPoint. I also provide student uh, mind maps. If you're looking at my lectures, when I go into later on in my lectures, uh, and we'll go into this, this is real quick, you'll look at my lectures print out chapter one print out the mind map so here it is and this is a pdf file this is the mind map this is what we're going to cover in chapter one what you do is print it out add to it do i understand this when you're reading the book when you listen to my lectures add your own information the more you add the more senses you put in the better uh, uh, higher probability you retain information remember this is a foundational class this is a class that uh, what they call a uh, uh, I 
forgot. Uh, it's a survey class. So it basically has 21 chapters. Each chapter are full courses. This is just a quick overview of what all businesses need to do to be successful. Okay, so I think I have everything else. Like exam, feasibility, you can look at that was required for your paper, your lectures. Uh, here's the Learn Smart uh, uh, if you want to uh, go directly to it. Here's tools, here's your help, here's the book, here's course rubrics. These are other links, these are all information for you. And once again, what can I tell you is welcome this course. Make sure when you start in, look at the full orientation. Uh, it's an hour, sit down there, you know, have a cup of coffee, stop me, pause me, whatever you want to do. Look at the syllabi, look at, do you remember, you go into weekly homework, this is what required for this week, follow it along, and you should do well. And again, welcome to this classroom. I think this is about a half an hour, the other one's an hour, a little bit more detail, but this is a quick and, uh, quicker version for you to get started, and I'll see you in the first forum. Uh, I'll, 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 You'll learn a lot in this class. You'll learn more in this class than you most likely would learn in a face-to-face -face class because you have to be very interactive. All right? And I'll see you online in the forum, in the classroom. Have a nice day. And thank you again for signing up for this course and for uh, signing up here at the College of Lake County.